Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope all is well. This is Teresa, AKA 50 plus 2013. Today's video is just going to bring you my most recent haul. And these are the things that I had for a while, but I kind of was separating my hauls into categories. And this one would be basically the makeup. And then because I don't wanna do another haul or hold onto this stuff anymore to be hauled, I'm gonna add a few things extra but for the most part, this is makeup. So right now, I'm gonna be showing you like two items that I got from the 99 cent store. And I got them because the packaging drew, drew me to them. I don't really know how they work. I don't know their brand name, where they came from, will they be in the store still? So this is the first thing. And this is, I like the bow on it right here, the pink bow. And kind of, I don't know, is this, this is grown people makeup, because I was saying maybe this is some kid stuff, but it's grown people makeup, and it's it's the double-ended eyeliner, and so basically that's what it is. And the two ends there. And then the next thing is this compact, and it is a powder foundation. Um, it has a mirror to it. Um, it says it delivers smooth coverage, that leaves skin looking radiant. And actually, I can go ahead and open these things. Whereas, guys, I would be so disappointed if this one was already tampered with because it didn't even, it wasn't even hard for me to open. There's the powder. And it is cheaply made, but it's cute. And it's a stay matte. Um, let's see. It wasn't saying that there was a mirror that was supposed to be in it. And then this one, I guess it should be just as easily to open so I can get rid of all this wrapping. And um, it's like a big old crayon, but in, but in pink. I've never heard of it, but there you have it. But I did pick up um, two other things from the 99 cent store that were 99 cents. And that's some cotton rounds and some hair pins, bobby pins. From the Elf Collection, I picked up a Mist and Set. I picked this up because I don't have the money to buy the one that I really, really like. This one's $3 and I think it's on its way to being four. So if you guys really love this, I highly suggest you go and stock up. So this is just the Mist and Set. Been using some hard candy one, which I don't like because it's too drying for my skin. I found this in the clearance section and it is bronze and blush kit, but I'm just gonna be contouring with it. And it's the, um, what line is this? That line with, with the blue writing. Um, I picked up some nail polish, and it's sinful colors. The Walmart I shop at does not hold this brand anymore. It's a nice, subtle, subtle pink. I picked this up from that same Walmart, and this is what I've been looking for. And it's a glass square jar with a dropper on it. And it is a physician's formula, rose all day. And it's an oil-free serum. So um, it's brightening and brightens and tightens, it says. So this is what this looked like. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's so cute. It has rose petals as part of the design. And then at that same Walmart, I saw this. I'm not an eyeshadow person, but some of these colors were calling my name. So I, I looked at each color and I asked myself, would I be able to use it and how would I use it? And for 90% of it, I said yes. So it was around $4, so I went ahead and got it. It's wet and wild and it's called Roses in the Air. Rose in the Air. Let's see. I was so shocked to see that Rimmel London had this in dark complexion. This is a liquid mousse foundation and I have it in deep mocha. It might be too dark, I don't know, but I have never seen it this dark. Rimmel London products where I shop, they don't come that deep. So I'm getting to try that brand and my own color. This is something that I thought was so cute. This is what my daughter was telling me about around Christmas time. She was saying at Target, they have an EOS lip balm that has the clear, top and it's the crystal weightless hydration lip balm wax free and five nourishing oils hibiscus peach is 
the one here. So I haven't seen it at Walmart, haven't seen it at drugstores, but I did pick it up at Target. And let's see what it looks like. It looks like an orangey tint. It smells so good. I'm excited to try this. Yeah, so that's by EOS. And I think it was around, I think $5, three something. I picked up this comb to wash my hair with in the shower and comb it out. This was under a dollar, it's called Sleek. I've already used it a couple of times and it's does a good job and I'm just gonna go ahead and include this panty liners for your lady bits then the last two things which I'm sad to say I don't like the way the gown looks on me so it might be going back but when I was traveling up the aisles of Target I saw this gown and I liked it because it had the padded upper part so you know normally you sleep without a bra but it had that padded part for you. So, you know, you look decent when you have company over. And this part is just soft and clingy. And of course, the color, the two-tone colors, I don't mind those either. And it just reminds you of a, um, a bra. And it's just really... Then the last thing, well, not the last thing. What am I talking about? I have some polish remover. And it has a spill-proof pump. This is the next thing. This feels so lightweight. What is it in, even in here? So this is a flat iron. I don't know where my flat irons are. When I moved, I guess I left those behind too. But what caught my eye is the... This I'll show you. Pink in there. <laughs> and since my theme is pretty much pink... Um, and it's, what does it say? So it's a ceramic flat iron. It's three fourths of an inch. And it, let's see. It has 25 heat settings. What? Um, an on and off. It has uniform heat recovery. And it's slim curve hit handle. And a floating plate, whatever that means. Frizz free, smooth, intense shine. 30 seconds heat up, 400 Fahrenheit, 25 heat settings. So that's what this looks like. And I think it was $15. So I wasn't willing to pay a lot for a curling iron at this point in time because of my budget. Should say no budget. So that is all you guys. I'm looking down at the stuff because I have a tendency to forget. I don't know if you've seen the video where I demonstrated this, but I have the Instant Age Rewind Erase Dark Circle Concealer, and this has uh, treatment inside of it, so this is something else that I got. All right, you guys, so I will see you on my next video, and um, I try to look like somebody else. Let me know if I succeeded. Thank you. Talk to you on my next video. Let me know if I look like somebody else. I try to disguise myself. No, really what I had done was I was trying to practice playing in makeup and do my brows. So one thing led to another. So a video will be up before this one or after this one. But nevertheless, it will be demonstrating how I achieve these brows. That are not that. <music>